always smiling no matter how windy it is. Uh, Kale is our land with us. Uh, Kale, first of all, starting with the second edition of the Cruiserweight Tournament, tournament. There was some kind of opposition in the state saying the best fighter is already fighter somewhere else. The second best fighter cannot fight because he's injured, talking about Murat Gassiev. But you guys still decided to do it. What was the main reason? Um, the main reason is, is quite simple. Um, uh, Uzik announced at the press conference in, uh, in Moscow after the fight that he was moving up to heavyweight. Uh, okay, he takes one fight now against Bellew, which is a good money fight, a pay-per-view in the UK, uh, which is, I think, much deserved. Uh, it's the rewards of winning Probably the Probably for Ali. both. Yeah, it's, and it, it, at the end of the day, I think both can thank the Ali Trophy because that fight was made for the World Boxing Super Series. So it's a, it, he deserves that fight, and, you know, and I'm sure he's going to do great at heavyweight as well, but it's very much about finding the... Uh, you know the, the next, the next best cruiserweight. You know, and uh, for the future, uh, the man to beat in the division. Um, but more than that, you, you know, at the end of the day, whether whether the World Boxing Super Series or whether it's normal boxing and it's promoted, it's putting fights together, you always aim to produce the best fights. And the cruiserweights, year after year, fight after fight, put on the best fights they put on some great 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 fights you know you always know the quality and if you look at the eight names um, and I, I disagree with with Gassiev I think Gassiev um, I think Bredis is is the natural the number one in the division mm -hmm. at the moment everyone has to he's the man to beat um, because he was a you know it was with him it was with Uzi, it was a very very close fight it was it went down to the last round a lot of people had it for Bredis, a lot of people had it for Uzik, and, and everyone would have settled for a draw, I think. It was down to that last round, and um, you know they, they were on the same level, exactly the same level. So, you know, um, I think Gassiev will come back stronger after his injury. And, you know, at the end of the day, we have eight guys who are the number one and number two of each federation. They're the two mandatory challengers. We've organized that with all the federations. The belts come into the tournament um, based on Uzik uh, vacating or Bellew vacating, um, and you know that's that's uh, that's pretty much uh, the reasons behind doing the cruiserweights again. Just to be a lot of reasons. Yeah, a lot of reasons. Just to be on the on the, on a, on on safe side of the story. I am on your side of the barricade. I mean, I remember and I and I preached for the last 20 years. I lived in the states for 30 years. Yeah. I remember Aramek first Aramek versus Cunningham fight yeah. was also fight of the year. Everybody Briggs. thought. I mean, well, so, well, Briggs was light heavy, though, wasn't it? Briggs was light heavy. Okay. Uh, light heavy. Light, it was. A, it was, light was a light heavy. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was 2005. Well, that meant you was going to remember the, the year, and then you go figure about the weight class. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that, I'm talking I, about I, I, Briggs was. We we promote that show with uh, with Don here. Uh, uh, United Center. With, uh, yeah, we did uh, uh, Vadoev versus Barrett. Yeah, I remember this fight too. In Chicago. But going back to the cruiserweights, I, I always believe, just like you, that this is probably the best weight class, but completely overlooked class. Even even this great fight, Aramek versus Cunningham, which was four, four knockdowns, nobody yeah. knew what's going on, craziness, it still did not break people's minds to believe in the cruiserweights. And you try, don't you feel like a Don Quixote for, for sometimes, you know, yeah, fighting, I mean, you know, <laughs> fighting the cause? I, I, I think, I think, and I completely agree with you. And and look, uh, you know, from Firat Arslan to Marco Hook to uh, Pablo Hernandez to Cunningham. Good, got, good point, Pablo promote, Hernandez, promoted great all, career. Promoted all of them, you know, yeah. uh, I promoted fights with all of them um, and many more that I'm probably just missing out now. But, but ultimately, um, you know, Dennis Lebedev, there's all these, these names over the last years. Mm -hmm. um, great fights. Think about Lebedev versus Guillermo Jones. We haven't talked about that. Oh, right. I mean, no, the I famous mean, you know, hematoma exactly, fight. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe if that fight would have, been, would, have yeah. been, would have been a heavyweight or a light heavyweight, yeah. um, you know, we would have been talking about that as one of the, the best fights ever. You know, True. Uh, it was an insane Good point. fight. Yeah. So, you know, I think the first problem with cruiserweights over the years has been the name. <laughs> Cruiserweight, yeah. you know, it's, uh, what it's, what's it's, exactly. It's you know, it, these are heavyweights and Olympic weights. They're, yeah. they're heavyweights, you know. So, 
Um, I always say that these are as professionals that they are trained heavyweights because they have to make weight, so they're always in shape. You know, a mm-hmm. cruiserweight yeah. rarely looks bad. You know, they come in the ring and you know that they are in shape because they have to make weight. You know, and if 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 they're if they it's a very tough weight. You get found out very quickly at cruiserweight. It's not yeah. you can't buy time like you can at heavyweight. No, because and the guys have a quickness of the light heavyweights even, and the power of the heavyweights. Exactly, but even if you go down the rankings, you'll, you'll always find a tough fight. And, you know, I think that Uzik and his success in the World Boxing Super Series last year was the breakthrough. I really believe that. The cruiserweights now, people understand, they see, Christ, these are big guys, and they're good fighters, skilled. Those are power, main events, top fast. main events fighters. Yeah, and, 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 and I, so I think, you know, I think we've done, uh, we're very happy with what we've done with the cruiserweights. And, you know, and we're delighted now with season two. I think already Dortikos Mastanet was a great fight. Great know? fight. And um, but I think we're gonna this weekend. We're gonna. You know, I'm sure we're gonna see a couple of great ones as well. I agree. I, I just don't want to. We are talking after the press conference. I know we are very very busy, but I want to go to 2018 version, which is right now. Yeah. Which is a very nice, great a mix of completely different fighters. Let's yeah. put it this way. Yeah. Between Breedis and Glovatsky, outside of wearing the same gloves, there's yeah. nothing in common. No, I no, mean, no, completely no. different completely fighters. Different fights, completely uh, different. Uh, Vlasov also, the fighter who relies on his speed, movement, versus yeah. Glovatsky's power and, yeah. let's call it, unpredictability. Yeah. You agree? And how do you see... There was a question, how do you see it? I mean, whatever happens, happens, but you know, I, I there's think, a good mix. Yeah, there's a very good mix. I think that, that you know, Breedis has won big advantage over everyone uh, in the tournament this season. Maybe not over Dortikos, but Breedis and Dortikos, they've been in this tournament already. So, so you know, see them as the favorites? I see them as the favorites. Yeah. So on, the, on the basis that they have been at this level since September last year. They've I know what you're saying. They've never left training camp, really. They've gone straight through. Fighting you know, great fighters. I mean, Dortikos took a bit of time out off the, off the Garcia fight, which was good. Uh, which sounded like, I mean, a great, great fight. And, but Breedis, he went on and fought in, uh, in, uh, in Moscow as a, as a sub. Then he had a, a minor injury, got that, and went straight back into training camp. No one's really had time off. You know, and, and I think those two guys are, 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 you know, are very you know, in, in the system, so to speak. But then when you look at the other ones, so we just talked about Mikhailian and, and, and Glavatsky, uh, Noel Mikhailian, Noel Gabor as he was known at the time, yeah. you know, was very unlucky against Vladarchik, that was eliminated to go into the tournament. Vladarchik flying in uh, this night is right now, yeah. you, you're going to have him ringside, so yeah, yeah, maybe you can yeah, do yeah. some. No, so. I, I, and, 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 you know, Christoph, he got, a, I think, a bit of a hometown decision, and he went in the tournament, and, and of course, Garcia uh, took care of him in the first round. But you know, he, he's also someone who's had such so many great fights with Vladarchik as well. I forgot about yeah. Vladarchik, you know. But you know, you look at you look at the, the you know look at the Glavatskys, You look at Vlazov. For me, he stepped at this level for him mm-hmm. on Saturday. This is new. Absolutely, yeah? this new. is new. Yeah. So whatever he's he, saying, is he the pretender yeah. or is he the real thing? You know, a lot of people in Russia have always told me that Vlasov is great, and you know, I must say that I've, one time I saw him, I wasn't that impressed. But I've seen other fights on tape, which looked very mm-hmm. good. This is the time for him to step up. He's got that high ranking since a long time, um, and you know, ultimately, the, you know, we saw it with Callum Smith in the final against Groves. Callum Smith, always this the young pretender, suddenly raising to the occasion, rose yep. to the occasion. And that's what this is about. So who's going to rise the occasion? Now we know Dortikos and Breedis can rise the occasion in those big fights, you know? Um, we know yeah, Glovatsky so, could, so, after so, Marco Hawk fight. Exactly, exactly. So we will, we will, uh, we'll see that's how it's about rising to the occasion on the biggest platform of all. I am cheering for you and the Cruiserweights, Carlos Auerland, the one and Thank only. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.